Okay, I'm out with the Creighton 8S EXV. And I just wanted to <laughs> see how well these rear axles, I mean, not axles. Uh, the rear links that I put on there, how they gonna do? Yeah, they are stupid beefy. Oh my god, they think the beefy is hat. So, wait, uh, I put the hatches on there since they were pretty much down there collecting dust. Yeah, I haven't run the hatches on any of the design rigs in a long time. And since I was down there fooling around with the thing, I can see that the steering is out of alignment as usual. Uh, let's see. about these hatches is that they do not get nearly as much grip as the stock tires. And they love to come unglued. But they are a tad wider than the stock tires, and they are still built so. So if they actually stay together, they're pretty good tires. If they can stay together. And you see, they say that's Creighton is like. It's like 50-50 whether they actually stay together or not. And when I say 50-50, I mean literally 50-50. I do like the suspension on this thing. It actually tries to keep it off of the ground a little bit. Just a little bit. The rear end is all the way up. Front end is kind of sloped. So these shocks actually do give the car a nice amount of ground clearance compared to the stock shocks. And I can see my feel over here is getting back jacked up with all the rain. And we're about to have some good old hundreds again, which sucks. But can't do nothing about that. It's real nice today, so. I thought I would just get out here with this thing. Oh yeah. These hatches are actually pretty good in the grass. I mean, it's sliding around. Yeah, let me get out of this mess. Yeah, so. Yeah, it's a pretty good truck. Decent, good enough. And the links actually keep it in line a little bit better than usual, which is more than I can say for anything else, which is great. So, yeah, I think I'm gonna keep it like this. Uh, 
I mean, my God, this thing is beefy as all heck back here. <sighs> but all the beefy ass parts you can get to put on this truck, I'm gonna just love it if the drive train <laughs> could keep up. I mean, because right now that's that's the absolute weakest part of this truck is the damn drive train. <sighs> and what are you gonna do? You try to throw on the Vitavons or the Scorch with the four millimeter pins and different diff cups that can support the four millimeter pins. Or you could try with the M2Cs, which keeps the original diff cups. I don't know. Anything that's thicker than bloody 5.5. I mean, 5.5. Hell, that's 5.5 millimeter drive shafts on the. Well, actually, no, I can't even say that. I mean, yeah, on the hyper. The Hyper MT, that thing has pretty much the same thickness drive shafts. I was going to say the sin, but that sin got some, he got some big, big ass shit on there. Especially the CVDs, those things are ridiculous. <laughs> so yeah, I'm going to keep it like this for a while. I don't need to add any more weight to this damn thing, especially considering that Oh, that poor outcast is in its own week when it comes to having a, enough aluminum on it to make it 35 pounds. Well, that's when it's still in that 31, 30 range. I can keep it like that. Ugh. Oh my God, the biggie. The biggie. But yeah, I'm going to leave it alone. I don't need to put all this stuff on it. I might put the the uh, the bar back on the bottom of it so I can actually jump it without turning the chassis into a freaking noodle. I think I did jump it just a few times without the bar on there and it's still pretty damn straight. Even the skids are still in good shape. Which is kind of oddly because that ramp. Oh yeah, and I did re I did replace all the bolts because that ramp tore the bolts up. I would love to find some actual uh, 12.9s for those bottom bolts, but <sighs> when it comes to yeah, when it comes to those bolts. Yeah, uh, what are those bolts? Those, those countersunk bolts. It's hard to find those in anything other than stainless steel or 10.9. I mean, literally, it's just, it's just it's literally stainless steel or 10.9, 10.9. And literally all of the bottom bolts, when it comes to M4 or M5, is stainless steel or 10.9, which sucks. I mean, this uses M5 bolts down there. What servo do I have in this thing? Because this servo is actually pretty damn good too. Ah, all things considered. Okay, I forget. It's that... That SPT servo, the blue one. That's 70 kilogram. I mean, they, they're pretty much all the same servo. This one is actually pretty damn fast. I think out of the three that I use mostly, I got the JX, the Raminator, and the, and the SPT. SPT. Yeah, the SPT is definitely the fastest. Even though they, they have all the same components on it. it. Looks like the same PCBs on the inside, the same motors. But for some reason, this one is faster. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's not even close. 
And this one actually probably costs the second most. The Reminator costs the most. Then is this one and then that JX. But I will still use all three of them. I mean, the Don JX never let me down anyway. And I've been using that one for ages. Yeah. I think I'm going to keep it like this for a while. Just throw that bar back on there if I actually want to jump the thing. Because this is a big car. And big cars... Yeah, when you start throwing weight on these things... I mean, they might need it to stay in one piece. But that weight is just going to end up breaking up the stuff. <sighs> but yeah, I leave it alone. Leave it, leave it alone. Leave it alone. No use throwing all that metal on this thing, considering that I don't jump it that much. I mean, yeah, that outcast, that thing, been, that thing has gotten beat up more than I would like to admit. And I know the EXV is shaking in his boots, wanting me not to the completely destroy it. But yeah, I'll keep this one short and sweet to the point I can't make it like that last 20 something minute video that. that love that it literally took what almost 12 hours to upload yeah let's not do that again <laughs> wow